Battleship foundered. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. Holland video coming at you right now, and I think this is a full gunboat build that is really, really awesome to show off and just displays the possibilities of it with the Holland. But anyways, before we begin, like the subscribe bell button below if you like what we're doing here. Having a blast learning about sailing ships, shooting ships, and uh, having a blast doing it at the same time. Thank you guys enough. We're on our way to 700 subscribers, and hey, uh, really enjoy the community, and we're having a great time doing it. Anyways. Let's talk about the tier 10 tech tree line European destroyer Holland and here we go first engagement with another Holland right here and you're going to see the advantageous abilities of it using a full gunboat build. Uh, this Holland is starting to turn outside which I know he dropped torpedoes because that's what most destroyers do and then he starts firing so that gives you indication torpedoes are on the way but look at this our reload our, our rate of fire is a lot better than his we're getting a lot of better DPM there the torpedoes I talked about and boom he goes down Nutrishimi also helps us out now I had I knew that I had the advantage because the Nutrishimi was there with me Again, it's all about so knowing your battlefield, your workspace, like your allies, who are you working with, and your situational awareness around the engagement zone. So that's something I encourage you guys that are new to the game that really think about, hey, before you take a cap, are you going to have help? That's the biggest thing because you, you know, two versus one is always a win. It's, a, it's all about finding... You know, it's, this is really roll the dice kind of game, right? Like whoever has the most wins, it's kind of like Risk or Monopoly, whatever it is. Um, essentially, you want to have the the ability to control your advantageous moments in this game, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you can go one on one all day long, but if you're rolling the dice, like you said, against you because somebody could have a advantage you can't see so i encourage you guys to really analyze the battlefield before you begin just like you saw at the beginning of the video i didn't go into bravo because i didn't have anybody there i didn't want to go into alpha right away because i didn't have anybody there until i had allies going with me did i have an advent and there we go we got the conde taking out the fdg but anyways going back we have to have the advantage going in now why did i pick the holland gunboat build so you, you guys know that if you if you don't know already this the holland european line is really focused on for fast firing torpedoes it is they are gunboats in a sense but look at those torpedoes launching right there they're going 90 knots okay 90 knots is pretty ridiculously fast they're like laser beams but that is exactly why they focus on it because they have quick firing torpedoes fast torpedoes they don't pack the highest damage but you can see that uh they you know they you can build into them i didn't build in them i did the gunboat go just like you're seeing right now i've got range i've got dpm i've got rate of fire adrenaline rush everything going on you know these guns don't pack uh, a lot of punch but they shoot a lot of shells and they are uh, decently they have a good kind of a shell speed and right there right now we got the Seijong basically grind or grinding doing a halt to the island and we're just going to keep firing and boom rp back to play that splash one for us today and he is down for the count and bravo cap is now empty and we're going to go ahead and try to take it for our team since we have a moment here to talk about it uh, why did I again talk about the Holland gunboat build uh, while we have a breath? Uh, the biggest thing is it's got Torpedoes great guns, really fast firing, not the greatest Torpedoes angles, not the best shell, uh, shell damage, whatever, but they do what they need to do. If you don't know, the European te uh, line only has two turrets, uh, four guns total, but, and they don't have the greatest, uh, and especially the Holland can't swing the turrets 360 like some other gunboats can. So you got to really manage your guns like, hey, if you're going to be on the right side, uh, make sure the guns are pointing right side okay wherever your vulnerable spot is point the gun in that direction where the enemy could be and just like i am i'm i'm swinging aiming to the right the gun turret in the back is going to swing there and be positioned to take on any kind of dd which is um, my right side here as the vulnerability um, because I, I think that's where the enemy is uh, the other thing is the torpedoes. Uh, they reload around a minute and a half. Yeah, th that's good enough. That's that's pretty quick for any kind of torpedo reload speed because you get like shamikazes and gearings up to two minutes. It's a long time to wait, right? But the other aspect I like about the Holland is it's got one of the best AAs in the game. So I've been playing a lot of other, other gunboat DDs, and I've noticed lately it's a lot of CVs, a lot of submarines in the random battles these days, and you really need to have AA uh, because the CV is always, always in the matchmaking, it seems like, these days. Now, look at this. I'm taking on a midway, and I'm firing like crazy. Uh, but I, you're going to see later I'm going to just destroy a whole squadron of planes. And look at the, the, how many planes we shoot down on this batch. It's because the AA on the Holland is one of the best 
uh, in the game for the DDs because I've been playing DDs the whole time. You know I'm a DD main. A lot of the other DDs don't really have it. Even though they advertise that they do, the Holland really has Engine downright the best. Uh, I, I don't know how to get around it. Uh, the Dalarna coming out soon is going to have even better AA. So I'm waiting for that. But the Holland uh, is, I'd say, a yeah, definite must in the randoms these days because of the fact that there's you know, CVs, subs, everything that's going against you. And you need to have the ability to be an all-around DD to handle all of that. Uh, you notice we have heals, which is the biggest thing I like about the Holland. Uh, not many DDs have heals, uh, so having a heal uh, it really allows you to make mistakes and be forgiven. You notice I'm not because I'm running the, the gunboat build, the survivability is not there, so I only have 19,200 HP, which is why we need the heals. Or we need AA, keep the, the the planes off our back. You know we can take on subs some somewhat. You know, subs are subs. I, I really Drones dislike the subs. Uh, you can watch my other videos to hear my rants about that. I don't think they belong in the I'd game. Uh, but uh, the AA is a... Okay, CVs, I don't think they belong in the game either. But hey, as long as you give me an AA, which is I've requested. Look at this. Okay, watch this. Let me take on the midway right here. Boom, boom, boom. Shoot, boom, 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 boom. I'm taking out all, as many planes as I can. And he's probably going to miss because he's getting black all around him. Boom, he misses. Uh, but... We can hold our own against the airplanes, uh, especially tier 10 ones, not super ship ones that are <laughs> pretty out there, or Soviet ones. Soviets are just ridiculous. The Nakamov, yeah, that's a tough carrier to beat anyways. But watch this. Yep, we scare off the midway. Let's see if we can. Yep, we've been blowing out all his planes right there, and hopefully we get the last one. Yeah, one plane shooting us, no chance. Oh my gosh, you did get a chance. That's my bad right there. Anyways, we shut down his planes uh, the best we can. We're going to take on the Shimakaze. Now, I'm not going to fire right here because I'm spotted. Yep, there you go. I go on to spot it because why? Nobody's spotting me. I look at the, my radar behind me. The, the Marseille is right there. He, uh, no line of sight with the Shimakaze right now. So I've got the advantage. I know his guns are weaker and slower than mine. There's his last third set of torps. So I know I'm just why you zigzag pattern towards the DD. Now, all my guns are facing the right. And here we go. DPM monster right here. Boom, watch the reload. One point, two second reload. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this. He's not firing at me. He has a slow reload rate. I'm taking all his DPM and boom, splash two. RIP down to 40. That is a one on one gunboat right there because I knew I had the advantage. I'm still spotted because the Marseille is in my line of sight, but now I go into the smoke and go undetected as the as Zuma is firing at me. We can't take him on one on one, so we're going to turn, go ahead and get undetected, turn around and wait for planes to come at us right here. Oh, there we go, we'll shoot some torps at them, just as a deterrent. And there they go, look at that, 99 to 10, uh, 10, sorry, 10 torpedoes that go uh, 15 kilometers, which is awesome, by the way. Here come the midway planes, I believe. Uh, not the greatest maneuverability, as you can see right there. It turns, it just does what a DD is supposed to do. It's not the greatest maneuverability, but it does it, what it needs to do, like I said. It's 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 manageable. Okay, watch this. I'm going to turn the A on. I got the defensive fire A, which is kind of like a gimmick to make you feel good. But look at this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. 6,400 kill. Um, boom. Whole squadron goes down. That is right there. Flat clouds galore. And we just take out an entire squadron. That's exactly why I build the Holland. Because I like the AA on the Holland focus enough to target. thwart any kind of attack. So I can focus on doing what a DD is supposed to do. You notice I'm the last DD in the game. Because why? They, the other DDs didn't have much AA. They also went in without an advantage. Uh, no support. Uh, I got fast firing guns. And I've got basically and situational and awareness to know that my job as a DD is to cap, spot, AA, torp, gunboat, everything. I'm pretty much everything. That's why I like DDs. You pretty much control the battlefield if you know what you're doing. And that's my lesson to you guys, really, to understand the role of the DD and how to play. Now, I open up on the guns, because uh, the Izuma, because why his guns are facing the Conde. Again, I know I had the advantage. I had a teammate with me. So he's while he's focused on the Conde, I can go to town and inflict some massive damage right here. I'm just trying to start fires and uh, just be a nuisance. I fire torpedoes where I think he's going to be, in front of the cruiser. Not at or on the marker. I know where is he going to be. He's going to probably speed up, turn around. So I'm going to fire the torps in front of the marker. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot as much as I can to get his attention towards me so he'll turn away. Yep, there are the torpedoes right there. And those look good, so I'm just going to stop firing and just take in the glory of this moment. Boom! Splash 3 RV back to 40. And that is the Holland in a nutshell. I mean, look at the capabilities of what the Holland has. I definitely encourage you guys to grind for it, try it out, use it. It is one of the best DDs in the game. I think well-rounded, just like a daring. Uh, it's got heels AA, gunboat power, torpedo power. 
Uh, it's got the maneuverability, speed boost, especially, definitely, I mentioned the heels are really most important because of the amount of, of uh, forgiveness it gives you. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you think below. Uh, what do you think of the Holland? Uh, if you think this was a, it was a good video, talk about it. If you like it, dislike it. Whatever you guys are going to do, like, subscribe, bell button below to support us on our way to 700 subscribers. And we can't thank you guys enough. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And until next time, you guys stay safe. Cheers.